friends and welcome back to the channel. My name is Chloe Taylor and on this channel we talk about a myriad of things. In today's video I really wanted to just sit down and actually chat with you and I pulled the message today using tarot. That's kind of how I do any kind of message. I've run podcasts in the past uh, that were just my solo podcasts, not the one that I run with my twin flame. That's different, link down below. But any solo casting that I've ever done, I have always kind of looked to tarot to ask what message the divine wanted me to bring to you. And so that was kind of the feel that I went with this. And so I believe that if you are hearing this message, that it was meant for you, that something in it you need to hear. So I hope that you'll stick around with me as I kind of go through what that message is today. And I also brewed a fresh pot of tea for me and you. Uh, we actually have some rose tea today. Uh, it's a rose black tea with a little bit of homemade lavender syrup. So I thought that would just be really nice and calming for us to get to enjoy. So a cup for you and a cup for me. Ooh, the rose, such a nice touch. The theme of today's message is actually a lot about healing because I pulled this card from a new deck that I have that is the cauldron and it talks about synergy and healing and how we might be under a lot of pressure right now. So I'm sensing that those of you that are listening to this video might feel like you're under a lot of pressure, be it from outside circumstances, from maybe even your own mind is causing just a lot of pressure on you to perform in a certain way or be a certain way or do something in a certain way. And I feel like this message really is to kind of take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Maybe, maybe right now that's something that you actually need. So take a deep breath with me. Let's do it. All right. That feel good? I feel like that felt good for me. <laughs> but I feel like you might feel like you're under just a lot of stress and pressure right now. And the message that comes with this is that deep healing comes from really the seat of the soul. And so to that, basically, I pulled three other cards and I'll put the decks that I use for this down below. If you guys are curious, you can get them. But I pulled three cards to kind of clarify what this healing and synergy that we were going to be bringing in today to this message was about and what I needed to talk about. So the first card that I pulled was actually the self card. And the self card really talks about just getting comfortable with the self and really just getting to this place where not only can you find true self-love, and that is a journey, my friends, let me express. I feel like there are so many people that will tell you like, oh, you can't do A, B, and C until you have love for yourself. And they don't really explain the process of what that's like coming to a journey of loving yourself. It's something that I am still journeying through. So I don't even feel like I'm an expert and can give you all of this solid advice on how to love yourself because, Honestly, that's probably a topic for another time because I have learned some really cool new stuff that has been helping me through that. But coming to just being present with the self to heal. And I feel like we have this mass conditioning on the planet and it doesn't matter. Like, I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression and think that I'm saying if you're a part of an organized religion that that makes you bad or your beliefs are bad. That's not what I'm saying at all. Frankly, I think if anybody has that opinion, they haven't done enough soul searching on their own and that is coming from a place of ego. <laughs> so uh, I do feel that when there is this like mass conditioning of people needing to feel like you have to look outside of yourself for all of the answers. And that could come from a religious background sometimes, that can come from parental figures, that can come from teachers, from classmates, from friends. And I feel like there is this mass conditioning of you don't hold the answers, you have to go to this person to heal, or you have to go to this person to heal, or turn yourself over here to heal. And I'm not saying that there aren't forces beyond us that cannot help us to 
better ourselves and heal ourselves because I, I wholeheartedly do believe in that. But I do feel that so many of us just let our power go. We think that every answer to our own journey is going to come once we read this book or listen to this person. Even me here today, I'm not your guru. Like I might be saying things that I hope is going to open your mind to new concepts and new ideas, but I'm not like, I'm not like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not your guru. That's like the best thing I can say. I'm not your guru. And I mean, I hope that what I say to you today is valuable, but I'm not, I don't want you to turn to me instead of turning to yourself, if that makes sense. And I feel like what we really need to do is actually listen to ourselves more. So many people I feel like I've even gotten this myself. Ask me, how do I tune into my own intuition? How do I tune into myself? Because we are so disconnected from who we actually are and who we want to be in this life because we have been so conditioned. And, and I'm not saying like you need to go out there and like put a dagger in your parents or, you know, don't get me wrong. I think it's all part of the healing process. Maybe you do need to get angry for a little bit first, but I'm not saying go out there and be mad at the world for conditioning you for believing something a certain way when the power was within you all along. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying though is that it's so much it's so much it's so powerful the moment that you realize that you hold all of the keys. There is nothing that you can't figure out. There is nothing that you cannot bring into your reality, even if it is something, a tool that's going to assist you along that journey. There is nothing in this present moment that you need. And I think that's really the highlight right now of this message today. There is nothing that is beyond you that you need to wait for. There is no, don't get me wrong, get help. Use your intuition. If you feel like you need to be speaking to a therapist, I know a lot of telehealth is available right now these days. Um, I'm not saying don't go out and look for help, but what I am saying is you hold so much more power than you actually realize right now in this moment. And it's a lot about listening to the self and coming to a place of having your own discernment. And the reason I bring up discernment is because the next card we have is the King of Air. And the King of Air to me is somebody who knows how to make decisions for themselves. And it doesn't matter how you identify gender wise, but it's someone that just has this inner discernment to know this is for me, this is not for me. And really removing all of these, like the vision that I'm getting right now as I'm talking about this is it's like, you are just like encased in this like slime and you need to just go stand out in the sun. Let this is so weird. <laughs> go stand out in the sun for a minute. Let this slime harden and then break it off. Like, I hope that makes sense. It's almost to me like a clay, like mask. Like it's like muddy and it is like this negative, all of these beliefs that you have about yourself is what makes up this. And it's just been put on you over years and years and years and years of people telling you who you should be or who they think you should be. And it doesn't mean that they didn't have what they thought was your best interest at heart to be a certain kind of person, but only you know, only you know who you are supposed to be. I hate it when I hear people say, oh, they know me better than I know myself. No, nobody can be inside of your mind. Nobody knows you better than you know you, nobody. So stop giving your power away like that. You always know you better. You always know what your best interest is. Even if you question it or you're a little bit scared of it or you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be this way, you always know. And that's really the heart of what I'm trying to get to is like you have inner discernment, you have intuition, you have the ability to use all of the tools that you already have with your own inner knowing to bring about at least the start, the process of healing. And that doesn't mean that as you 
go into this journey of healing, of removing these pressures, of coming into who you are and really calling, I hesitate to say taking back your power, but that's really what it is to me. It's taking back your own personal power. This life to me isn't about becoming a person. It is about unbecoming everything that you are not. So that, my friends, is really, that's it. <laughs> you know what that is? That's it. <laughs> I need more tea. And so when you start this journey, I'm not trying to tell you that, again, you shouldn't ever seek help outside of yourself. I would never discourage someone from doing that. Sometimes you need to hear something outside of you in order to internalize and bring that healing to you. And I think sometimes people have this misconception in terms of therapy. Now I have to say here, a disclaimer, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a psychologist. I don't have the piece of paper that says I went to school for this long and now I can tell, these, tell you all these things. So please like take that for what it is. Do not replace me with actual therapy. But I think sometimes people have this misconception that when you go to therapy, you are this therapist is gonna fix you. And frankly, that's really not it. A therapist is not there to fix you. That is not their job. And actually, at least from talking to friends that are in programs for therapy um, or are therapists, they're actually told that that is not the case. You are not there to fix someone. Never make it your goal as a therapist to fix someone. What you're there for, what they are there for, is actually to hold space for you so you can come to those healing conclusions on your own. And they might help you, they might direct a conversation a certain way, but that's really what I want to get at. I think especially in this day and age when a lot of people either can't afford therapy, don't have the insurance, um, or for whatever reason just can't go because maybe there's too much anxiety around it. I think that's the misconception that, and again, I need to put that in there one more time, I'm not discouraging therapy. I think therapy is a wonderful thing. It's helped me. I encourage, I think everybody, if you have access to it and you're able to like go to therapy, it's so amazing and so helpful to have someone in your corner rooting for your healing journey. It's so helpful. But for those of you that feel like that's just something that's beyond you right now, what I'm telling you is you have that capability now. You have that capability to start healing now and not allowing these pressures that you're feeling to just overthrow you, to raise your consciousness, to raise your vibration and to move into a new atmosphere of life. And it doesn't mean you're gonna figure it all out tomorrow. It doesn't mean you're gonna figure all of it out by yourself, but there are things that you can start doing now. And that could be a myriad of things. I don't want to tell you exactly what I think you should do because it's different for everyone. I can't sit here and tell you, you know, oh, you should meditate every single day or you should read only these books. You know, people come to me a lot for book recommendations and I struggle with that because I can tell you what has worked for me, but you're a different person. You're a different person with your own thoughts, your own ideals and your own way of living and your own way of doing things. And frankly, it's honestly really terrifying sometimes um, knowing that I have to keep my ego in check and remind myself that sometimes the things that I say are gonna inflict anger in other people, are going to make other people that don't agree with what I'm saying mad. And I have to remind myself like, what is my mission? What am I trying to do here? And that, this is gonna kind of tie into the last card that we have. But what is my mission? What am I trying to do here? Why am I even saying these things? And it's because it ha it is what has worked for me, but that doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. Everyone's in a different boat. <laughs> We're not all in the, I mean, I guess you could say we are in the same collective boat if you're thinking about the collective unconscious, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. So, Basically, coming to this place where you just start to use your own discernment and start to trust yourself. That, I think, is probably one of the best things that I have ever done for myself. And it's still a process, even now. I've been working at this, I would say, probably since about age 23. And I'm, I just turned 29. <laughs> um, I feel like my spiritual awakening has come in like little bursts. And uh, I would definitely say 
a couple of years ago, it was like probably the biggest shift that I've ever had. And it caused me to go down a lot of rabbit holes and research a lot of things and really come to this place where I am still learning, but I am learning how to redirect my thoughts, how to have conversations in my head with myself when certain thoughts come up. You know, instead of just saying, oh, it's this, oh my gosh, I feel like this, I feel like this, I feel like this. And it's not always easy in the moment, but saying, why do I feel like this? What is this trying to show me? Why is this fear coming up right now? Because you could chalk it up to so many different things, be it the chemicals in your mind, be it another extenuating circumstance. I'm not gonna get too heavily into this again. I'm not a trained professional, so I don't feel like I really have the expertise to speak so much on such a wide variety of things. I don't want to drink some tea, Chloe. You're getting off path. Relax, you got this. Thank you, spirit. Spirit agrees with me. I looked at this candle and it went flicker, flicker. <laughs> Candles are freaking cool. I lit that candle so I could have clear communication during this video and I really feel like it's helping. Um, so coming to this place where you have your own discernment and it really comes from the little choices. It comes, it's not something that tomorrow you're gonna say, okay, I have my own discernment. This is where I am now. No, it comes from a daily practice of keeping small promises to yourself. This is something that the holistic psychologist teaches and I love her work. She is such an inspiration to me. Um, but she teaches that it's keeping small promises to yourself every day and learning how to reparent yourself. You don't have to go through these long extenuating things for healing. Some people do, some people do need that and they feel more comfortable with that. But her big thing is pushing self-healing and starting the healing journey on your own. And I guess that's really what we came to talk about today. So, because I feel very much aligned with that. I've never done any programs of hers. I've never like, I just see her Instagram posts sometimes and it very much aligns with how I hold myself. I have done a lot of my own self-healing. Instead of turning to A, B, C, and D, I've kind of said, what can I do? And the last card that I have for all of you today is the sage. And I think in terms of talking about your healing journey, if you stumbled across this message today, I really set the intention before I even started with this candle, actually. I set the intention that nobody would watch this video that didn't need to hear something out of this. So this part of the message could really be for you as well. Um, and it might just be different parts. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I always like to say that. But the sage is someone that tells stories. And I feel like in terms of a healing journey, what this is really saying, because sages are really looked towards, really look towards for finite advice. And they are the people that they always know what to say. They have innate wisdom. And I think the message that I have for you today, if we're progressing through this, is that if you're watching this video and you're hearing this message and you're agreeing with what I'm saying and you feel like you want to start doing that or you're already doing it and it resonates, you are someone that you need to keep doing your healing work. You need to keep healing at this time, even when it's hard, even when it's scary. Obviously, don't push yourself, go at your own pace. But even when it's scary, keep doing the shadow work. Keep doing what raises your vibration, brings you to a higher level of consciousness. Keep doing that work. Keep integrating with yourself because the more that you do that, and speak about it. I do believe that your healing journey, if you're hearing this, you might be someone that is supposed to speak about it. You are supposed to share what you know of healing and bring that to the collective so that we can help other people do the same. Nobody, actually, I feel like Spirit just came in here and was like, listen, you need to say this. You have a story on your heart right now as I'm saying this, you have a story on your heart right now and you have either already healed through it or you're healing through it. And the reason that that story is on your heart is because you are meant to share it with the world. 
Somebody else needs to hear what you've been through. Somebody else needs your story because it's going to prove to them that they are not broken, that they are able to heal too, that they are able to move past their pressures and their blockages, that they are able to be squeezed so tight. But at the other end of that, at the other end of that pressure, they are going to also erupt as a diamond, just like you are. I'm getting this vision of like a diamond, just like poking out of a rock and just so much pressure has created something so beautiful that it is meant to be shared. So I think many of you that heard this today, that's something that maybe you ought to consider a little bit harder. If there's a story that you've always felt like, ooh, I shouldn't share that. I shouldn't talk about that. I, I shouldn't say these things because it's going to implicate this person, this person, and this person, or I can't talk about this way that I healed because it's going to make someone else look bad or what have you. You have those experiences because you are meant to share them. You feel passionately about what you've gone through because it's something that you are supposed to bring out to the world. And the world could be a book. The world could be a blog. The world could be your circle of friends. I teach this a lot in my own community and in my own friendships that, that maybe you might have this mentality, but ooh, one person can't change the world, but actually they can. And the reason I'm saying that is because think of it like a single droplet of water on a straight glass lake. What does that do? A single droplet of water ripples the entire thing. So you can do that. You can be the ripple. You can start the ripple effects, be it in your family, in your friendship circles, to the internet, however you're going to be doing it. But I feel like right now is the time for you to continue to heal because somebody is going to need to hear that story because it's going to give them the courage to pull themselves up and do the same. All right, that is the message that I have for all of you today. I hope this resonated with you. I hope that... It, you got something out of it, even if it is just the confidence to know that you are able to do things for yourself, that you are not missing a tool. I think that was a really important thing that came out too, is you're not missing any tools. You've got this. You're a badass. <laughs> you're a badass. You've got this. And I love you guys so, 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 so much. I really do feel that whoever this message was for, even if it's just one person, you really needed to hear it. And... I feel like your guides and your ancestors led you to this for a reason because they wanted you to hear it. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you would like to hear in the future, what topics maybe you would want to speak me to speak on. I feel like I have done a lot of my own healing. I definitely love a good psychology book. I love a good self-help. I've done a lot of my own work and a lot of my own shadow integration. So I would really love to keep speaking on stuff like this. Let me know what you want to hear about. And yeah, I will catch you guys for another video real soon. 